San Jose State and USC. Now, we have not differed on a single pick thus far. We are into game four now. USC, a 14-point favorite. Again, reminder, the odds are provided by BetUS, where the game begins. There's a link in the description. Use the promo code NCAAF2021 to get a 125% deposit bonus. Let's, let's talk about this. You and I have discussed a theory. After we saw Hawaii get absolutely blasted by UCLA, we realized that Hawaii had not played a P5 team in two years. Right. This is another Mountain West team going up against a Pac-12 team. USC is even more talented than UCLA is. Correct. I wonder, right? Because this line was at 15.5, and, and then everybody saw Nick Starkle and that San Jose State offense come out and absolutely blast Southern Utah, who was like a 40-something point under the hug to uh, Arizona State this week. But I... I love San Jose State. I love Brett Brennan. I, uh, Brent Brennan, excuse me. I, I think everything about what they did last season was awesome. And I think USC might absolutely skull drag them this weekend. <laughs> I'm, I'm all over USC minus 14 because it's a, it, it just, the talent differential is there. Now, Clay Helton had a bunch of close games last year against teams that he had no business letting, letting stay in the game. But I, I do think if, if the talent discrepancy is that big and USC comes out with their hair on fire, they could absolutely cover this 14. It won't even be close. I don't. I think that this could be a three-touchdown kind of game. Yeah, no, I'm totally with you. I, I think the same thing. We, we see this the same. I, and this is not a knock on San Jose State. I think there's a world where USC is really that good. I think there's a world where after this year, there's a lot of folks apologizing to Clay Elton. Yeah, yeah, I tend to agree. Now, I do think that they can absolutely be beaten in conference, right? Utah, UCLA, et cetera. Like, I, I think they can absolutely be beaten. But I do think that they are still a really good football team. They are well coached. Like, they're not. I don't have them. Yeah, I don't yeah. have them going undefeated. But if they finish this season undefeated, it wouldn't shock me. It wouldn't shock me either. It wouldn't shock me either. So, I'm... I'm going to ride USC here, and, and we'll see what happens. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.